hi you guys welcome back to the channel it's me kyla look at my little top it's from he would love first it just says what would jesus do and then right here it says he would love first it's super cute i was looking at my phone and it has been over two years since i deleted my social media which is crazy so i deleted um my facebook well my facebook got hacked and i was never on facebook uh i really just had facebook to promote my skincare business so i was never on there and it got hacked so i think facebook shut that account down i deleted my instagram and then i deleted my tiktok i obviously still have a youtube so i guess i still have social media but yeah it's been two years since i've deleted those other social medias and it is so crazy because I, it's just so crazy to me like i don't miss it i people are always like do you ever want to like do you think you'll ever redownload it again and i'm like honestly no i enjoy my life so much more without it but i kind of want to talk to you guys about kind of like the reasons why i deleted it how much better my life has been without it um i've talked to a lot of people and they're like oh my god like i i feel like i should it's such i waste so much time on it i would love to delete it i'm just like you can you can baby but i'm also gonna talk to you guys about the cons of not having social media the only one i can really think of is one but we'll get into that a little bit later so the reason i initially deleted my social media was it was actually one of my friend's neighbor who, who was kind of like our friend but about two years ago we used to go out with him and his friend all the time like we would have a time girl <laughs> a time we would be yeah and so i remember i went over her house and one day we were like let's go ask i just said his name <laughs> so we're gonna call him b so i was like we were both just like we should just go ask b and t if they want to hang out like da 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 so my friend went over to knock on his door just like hey do you guys want to hang out and i remember he was like no he was like no i'm okay um when we hung out we always like went to this bar and we always drank um, this is not the life i live anymore you guys but i am gonna be transparent with you about it uh so we we would always go out we would drink da, 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 and he was like no like i'm okay and i was taken back like this man never says no like they are always on us like let's go out let's hang out that like he's never ever said no so i'm like mm, okay like of course respect that you don't want to like okay and so then i remember i was like looking on him looking for him on instagram to follow or to message him like send something to him message him whatever and his profile wasn't there anymore but at first i'm just like oh wait did he block me and i was like oh okay well that would make sense like maybe just is like not rocking with us anymore like that would make sense why he said no a few weeks ago and then now i'm blocked da da da, da. and so i text my friend like oh my god i think b blocked me like i like hopefully we didn't do anything did you do you think we did something i'm like hopefully we didn't do anything to this man and um so she i guess saw him you know their neighbors so she saw him eventually and was like is everything okay da, 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 da. and he was just like yeah i'm just like getting my life together i'm de i deleted my social media like i'm just getting right i'm getting myself together like i just i gotta get right i had to I gotta get right i had to delete all of that and i was just like wow <laughs> that was the first i had ever heard of anyone like not like deleting their social media something about that stuck with me something just about that hard like i'm not going out no more i'm getting off social media like i'm getting my life right something about that really really stuck with me and i would just think about it from time to time like you know i would just be thinking about it and then um I, I would say maybe a few maybe like six months later i just kept feeling a strong strong push and conviction to delete my social media 
so of course me i was like okay i'll take a little social media fast i'll take a little social media break i'm not deleting my social media so i took a little week social media like fast media fast i'm just like you know i don't want to have no idols i don't want <laughs> i want to make sure ain't nothing in my life an idol so i took a little social media break a little social media fast and after the week i was like i'm gonna do it too so i did two after two i was like i'm good after two i was like i'm good like i am so good so yeah that's kind of like the origin story of why i deleted my social media it was never intended to be a long-term thing um but it be like it became one and i'm so 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 thankful like even though i didn't listen to the conviction that got placed in my heart fully initially i'm glad that i still took heed at least a little bit um because like god never takes anything away from you unless he's giving something to you to fill that void and a lot of times it's him like a lot of times he is what's what he's trying to fill that void like he's trying to silence the distractions around you really just call you into him and into his presence and spending time with him oh so, yeah it's been over two years i deleted it like early june and it's june 27th right now i deleted it early june of 2022 and it's june 27th of 2024 so it's been two years since i've had a social media and Oh, it's so crazy so i just like wanted to talk quickly about just like some quick reasons why i love not having a social media anymore and then there is one reason why like that's kind of like a con so i want to talk about both one huge reason why well like i felt this first and then i started feeling the conviction to delete it i have a very sensitive spirit that's really the best way i can describe it like when i see things and things happen to others or people in my life stuff sticks on my spirit and i feel like sometimes other people's troubles and problems and stuff can really it just sticks on my spirit yeah like i remember when all the george floyd stuff was happening watching everything that was going on on social media and just like watching so much hate and so much division that was just like that was starting to build up and really stick on my spirit and sometimes i feel like social media is an information overload and it's just like so much unsolicited stuff and heaviness and like like i don't know really how to explain it but it really would just affect me and really like stay on my conscious and make me feel like uneasy and it was just like so much just like an information overload for me and i feel like that has been so much better like i intentionally um listen to and seek out to see things that i want to see and that doesn't mean i'm not abreast to what's going on in the world but honestly i hear a lot of like world information and stuff through friends and family and it's in a way that i can like better digest and receive it and then like go on to do my own research if i desire to but it's just not so much stuff thrown on me that's really hard for me to balance and manage spiritually it just like weighs me down and so that's a huge 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 pro that's probably like the biggest one the other big thing uh for me was figuring out who god called me to be like who i am not like figuring out who i am through who god has called me to be and not through what's trending like I, it just was like what do i like to wear what what is my style what do i like like what do i want my apartment to look like what aesthetic do i like not what's trending i feel like sometimes everyone's doing the same thing because that's what's trending it's just like do you even like that like or are you just so heavily influenced and i really feel like it has given me time to be unapologetic in what i like you know and and really discover what i like because i don't have so many influences and ideas 
all around me all day long this is what's hot this is what's not it's just like what do i like what's my style what's my vibe i feel i feel like i really grew in that area just being comfortable in myself and what i like and who god has called me to be and you know I, I think that was that's something like really cool that social media has given me it's like i really just be doing my own thing because i don't really know what everybody else is doing like i just be in my own little world my own little world and it's lovely peaceful <laughs> peaceful and also i feel like my mental health again i think that goes hand in hand with the spirit heaviness my mental health is just so much better there are so many studies on how like the negative impacts and effects that social media has on your mental health you're constantly comparing yourself you're constantly comparing your low lights to people's highlights highlight reels like it, it's just constant comparison and it's just like yeah social media is not great for our mental health there are a ton of studies on it and i truly don't think i'm gonna allow my kids to have social media i think when they're 18 they can make that decision but i i don't i don't see the huge benefit that outweighs all the cons and that's a huge reason why i deleted it for myself like yeah there are benefits to social media there are the benefit that it has on business networking opportunities staying connected to people like if you have family and stuff all, all over the world like it's a huge 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 positive but the uh, the negative effects and impacts for me greatly outweigh the positive and so i just knew i had to make a decision to Good it, good it, good it, good it. The last thing that social media has given me so, like, giving me back so much of is time. The amount of endless hours I can spend just. It's like that was such a waste of time you just realize how much time you wasted how much time you wasted look at other people live their lives and pursue their dreams and chase their purpose while you're watching them do it like you're not even doing these things for yourself you're watching other people do it and that like that was something i did a lot of and i would like sit there and daydream and fantasize like oh i want to do this or like these are my passions these are my dreams but it's like when are you making time to do the work faith works they have to you know what i'm saying <laughs> You know, like, wh when is, when are you, mm, okay, so yeah, <laughs> that was like a huge thing that I got back. I will say, the biggest con about not having social media for me, baby, when I am trying to find like a new hairstylist, a new nail tech, like just find stuff in the city I, I like i was like trying to find my mom someone someone new to cut her grass it's like when i had an instagram hashtag detroit nail tech hashtag detroit braider detroit hairstylist when it comes to finding like beauty providers and services google doesn't cut it no ma'am and then like a lot of small little nail techs and hairstylists are not even on google and that really i'd be like can't i be asking my sister like can you please help me find someone can you hashtag this and show me what it says but yeah that's like the biggest and like to me that's a big deal that's a big deal but that that's the biggest con uh to me for sure but I can deal with that. I can deal with that for peace. I can deal with that for having less distractions. I could deal with that for better men mental health. Like that's a trade off I'm willing to make. So yeah, I just can't believe it's been two years since I deleted my social media. Like it's just so crazy. Like just living in a world without social media in this day and age is crazy. When I tell people, they just be like, what? When I tell guys, they always think I'm lying. Like, oh, you're just not trying to give me your social media. It's like, okay and even if i did have one with that attitude <laughs> with that attitude you wouldn't get it um that's my story and i'm sticking to it that's beautiful mommy
Do you guys know where that's from? Okay, anyways, I'm gonna go because I literally am on my lunch at work and I need to get back on the clock. Oh, you guys, look. Also, look at this phone case I got. It's from Elevated Faith and it says Fruit of the Spirit and it has like all the different Fruit of the Spirits around it. It's so cute. I love it so much. Hello? Okay. 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 Bye. Like, ah! I love you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I pray that the Lord blesses you, keeps you, and his favor shines down on you. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.